Shalom, Yahshua Allah. I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, which in the Paleo Hebrew tongues, correct names of the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostles and Elders of GMS. And Shalom to the sisters and brothers loving this truth. And Shalom to the brothers and sisters listening and standing to show themselves approved. Shalom. I want to start off today with a quick little lesson to show that the scriptures are spot on. If you, you know, have the Rakakadash, the Holy Spirit, and you able to relay them, you know, current events to the scriptures. Because, you know, you hear a lot of people say like, man, the Bible's been rewritten over and over again, over and over again. You know, trying to say it has no validity. You know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make sense with current events when, yes, it does. It's spot on with current events. And through this lesson, I'm going to show you that because to me, this is very powerful. I'm going gonna to read a quick article to show you, man, like Apostle Hart said, the year of turn up, man, things are turning up. This devil is stepping it up, y'all, Sharala. He about to come on with it. That's why I tell my people all the time, like, in a minute, I ain't going to have to tell you the so-called white man's the devil. In a minute, he's going to show you he's the devil. So check this out, y'all, Sharala. And this is a knock to people calling us conspiracy theorists. Cause it's happening right now. Cause it's the news. What well, well, this? Uh, you know, WCSC, you know, South Carolina, Channel Five News. So check this out. We're gonna read this, y'all, Um, we're gonna start out. King Street, South Carolina. Officials with the Williamsburg County Sheriff's Police Office announced a ten-day quarantine at their detention center due to the rising number of Crown Nineteen cases in the area. Sheriff Stephen Gardner said the quarantine will be in effect until January 18th. The sheriff's office said video visitation, telephone communication would not be allowed during the quarantine period due to the difficulty in cleaning the devices between uses. So they're going to lock you in this place, man. Hey, it's going to be worse than, than jail because you're going to have no outside communication, you know, with your loved ones on the outside. They don't tell them what they're going to do to you once you're in there. Because as I read the article, they're going to tell you what they're going to do in there to you. You know, they say they're going to detain you for 10 days if you ain't got that thing. You know? So I'm going to keep on reading. Uh, let me, I'm gonna, where did I leave off at? Yeah, Gardner said medical staff will test detainees, detention deputies, and other employees. The Williamsburg County Sheriff's Office and Detention Center are following all procedures to try and prevent inmates and employees exposure to the virus, Gardner said. Officials said the detention center sanitizes twice daily and disinfect areas throughout shifts. Gardner said the situation will be reevaluated at the quarantine period to determine if operations will turn to normal. So they getting ready to like, like you've been hearing all this stuff about FEMA camps, detention centers, man, they're about to do that. That was the whole reason to start in the crime 19 situation is so that they can, you know, uh, they, they're, they're doing the sifting. They're trying to decide, you know, they're basically testing people's intelligence. They want to know, you know, who's going to comply with my system, who's not going to comply with my system. Who has critical thinking skills, who doesn't have critical thinking skills. And then it's going to go further than that. Then they want to see, you know, Esau want to see who has the spirit of the Lord in them, who doesn't have the spirit of the Lord in them. Because if you have the spirit of the Lord in you, you know, you're the people they really want to go after. Because we're the ones ushering in Yahawashah. We put up these video of pistols, go on the highway and hedges, and even the believers, the ones that are watching the prophets, you know, watching the people put in the work, you know, getting edified with this word, getting the spirit, you know, getting your spirit renewed, getting your mind renewed. Those are the ones they really want to go after because they know those are not going to comply with their, you know, global reset, which goes in the new world order, the B system. They know that. So check it out. Now watch this. Watch this, Yashra. This says a 10-day quarantine in the detention center, right? Now, let's go to the scriptures and see what the scriptures got to say about that. You know, let's go to the scriptures. Let's go to Revelation. Revelation 2 and 10. Watch this. Check out what this reads. It says, Fear none of these things which thou suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation. Ten days be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, come on, man. That's spot on. This book was written thousand years ago. 
Then here we are in 2022. They talking about detaining you over some bullshit for 10 days. And scripture says that they will do that. The devil should cast some of you into prison for 10 days. Be thou faithful and I'll give you a crown of life. Come on, man. How this devil nowadays going to say 10 days? And Yahweh Shah said way well, thousand years ago, he would do that for 10 days. And he said the devil should cast some of you into prison. So that's a knock on the devil being some red man with a pitchfork, with horns, burning people in the underlife for, for forever with fire. No, it said the devil should cast some of you into prison. So the devil is an entity that's here with us right now. And, you know, through the power of Yahweh Bashi al we tell him that the devil is Esau Edom, a.k.a. the white nation. That's who the devil is. That's the Antichrist. That's the son of perdition. And that's the wicked. It's them. And they're the ones doing this because this is whose agenda? Their agenda. Jake ain't doing this. This is Esau's agenda. You know, and he said that it may be tried and had tribulation 10 days. That goes right with that article. So I want to hear like the scriptures ain't spot on. The scriptures ain't uh, uh, filtering current events. Man, you, out, you, you just can't read and you haven't read the Bible. And if you haven't read the Bible, you can't tell me what's not in it because I have read it. And we pulling out right here and, and pulling out future revelation right now through the scriptures with what's going on, what was written back then, what's going on right now. There you go. And what the Most High command us to do, he said, be thou faithful unto death. Because like I said earlier, you don't know what they're going to do to us in the detention centers. They might, you know, force the, the thing on you in the detention center. If you don't do it, they say, hey, we might just go and put a bullet in your head. You know, the Most High saying, be thou faithful unto death, man. Don't even fear them taking your life. We got this truth, you know, and we can't let even death separate us from this truth. We got to stay faithful all the way to the end. That's why it says endure to the end. You know, because even if you die in this truth and you die for Yahweh Bashiach Shah, when he comes back, you'll be raised up first, doing the first resurrection and be part of the first fruits, you know, to, to establish the kingdom. So that, that's a high honor to die for Yahweh Bashiach Shah. So it comes to even if we got to lay our lives on the line. That's what we got to do. You know, now we pray and hope that he keeps us, you know. That we, we remain, you know, alive so we can be translated. But the key thing is you got to be in this truth. You got to have your mind totally focused on your high body shine these scriptures. Because, man, it's about to get real ugly out here. Because, like you said, with them detaining people in detention camps, you know, they're going to be taking people's children away. They're going to be dividing families. You know, which they're already doing that. Me and Ock was talking. They're already doing that in Australia and Europe, you know, overseas. But when they come do that here in America... Oh, man, it's going to be, that's going to spark the civil war. That's what's going to spark Jacob's trouble. Insurrection, addiction among men. You know, everybody's, you know, America, Babylonians are pretty much taking it right now. But when you start, like, kicking in people's houses, like drug busts, and snatching up their loved ones because they ain't got that thing, you know, America's got, got swords. Which, what's a modern-day sword? A modern-day sword is a gun. You know, they do the same thing. They separate. They tear up flesh. You know, and, and Americans have those at a high clip. And, you know, I'm looking at these, uh, you know, your broke Edomites, you know, your, your little redneck Trump supporters. When they start doing this at a high clip, it's going to lead to insurrections, man. They're going to take them guns and they're going to use them. You know, the, the, and the two thirds are going to do it right behind them. When you go in there and snatch up Jaquanda's children, you know, she's going to tell Pookie he's going to get Ray Ray. And they're going to round up the whole four sevens click. And they're going to get to smashing on these detention centers. I said, when this thing really get turned up, police officers are going to turn their badges in. You know, a police might get his family took because he won't comply. They're not going to comply with these orders. That's why they're going to need UN troops. They're going to need help trying to subdue Babylon the Great into these unrighteous decrees. You know, it's going to be a civil war. It's going to be the, the people that's, it's going to be the government versus the people. That's the war. You've seen a little bit of that last year. With the uh, Capitol riots. That's going to happen again. Except this time, hey, they're going to be busting guns. It's not going to be no just storming the building. No, man. It's going to be. That's why the most house preparing us right now, y'all. Sure. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed coming up pretty soon. And I see it with them uh, setting up the detention centers. That's going to create big time insurrection. Like, Esau already done with it. You know, I'm reading comments on, you know, certain articles I read. And Esau... The, the jig is up. They they botched this whole crime 19 scenario. 
E don't want to go for it no more. E done sat back, being a good little soldier, took his little, you know, his one, two, three, his boosters or whatnot. Now they're coming for a fourth. Man, a lot of them ain't going for it. A lot of people are waking up. Jake's still caught in the slumber mode. You know, Jake, Jake is the dumbest. Two-third uh, Jake is the dumbest people on the face of the planet because they're, they're dumber than Esau because they follow behind Esau. Esau is dumb to me. So the two-thirds are going to be last to jump into this, but you best believe they're going to jump into it too. It's going to get like that. Once Esau start busting back, two-third Jakes are going to bust back too. So the he's and the two-thirds are going to fight back. And in America, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed. It's going to get real ugly. You know, the National Guard is not ready for this. They're going to need their military force. And they're not only going to military force. They're going to need the uh, overseas foreign help to do this. And that ain't going to come, you know, that's going to be sloppy. Because they, hey, the war drums are beating. Russia and Ukraine about to go head up. You know, and then when Russia jump in, China, man, it's going, we about to see mass death, y'all, So let me get back to the scriptures. Back to my main point with these detention centers. Because what they're doing is, Esau is a mad scientist. He's running an experiment. They call it a control group. Esau wants to get to the people that keep the laws and have the testimony of Yahweh Bashiach Shah. That's who really they want, but they can't really, you know, Zero in on that group until they do all these certain events. This Crown 19, like I said earlier, is a sifting. You know, you're going to see who is who in this event. Who's going to go with, you know, comply with the orders of the government. And who's going to go against it. Who's going to rebel. You know, in which really, we can stay in Revelation. Let me go to Revelation 12 and 17. Because this is the group that they really want. This is what, what Esau is doing this. And that's why he's doing this, man. That's why he's spewing out that water out of his mouth as a flood, you know, to, to, to get that woman, which that woman goes back. I did a lesson earlier on that woman is the nation of Israel. And specifically, they want the remnant of her seed, which I'm going to go ahead and read the scripture. Let me, got, let me let the scriptures talk. It's Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Who's that woman? Israel, Yasharala, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's who really they want. That's the group they want. They want the group that's ushering in their destruction. Because the whole reason Esau's doing this is because Esau feeling that pressure from Yahweh Shah. Esau knows Yahweh Shah is coming. He know that. He can't stop Yahweh Shah. So he's gonna try to offset prophecy by destroying the children. Of Yahweh Shah, you know, Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. He's gonna destroy them, the ones that Yahweh Shah's coming to save. Let me get rid of them, and then he thinks maybe then, you know, I can rule forever if I take out, you know, who he's coming to save, because he's trying to upset the reunion, the marriage is what he's trying to upset. You know, two people about to get married, and they say, if anybody uh, objects to this or keep your silence, man, he start trying to, nah, nah, I, I don't want, I don't want Yahweh Yahweh Shah to get married. Nah, I don't want that. I want to rule. So he, he's he's trying to do that. And this Crown 19 is the perfect thing for him to usher in a global reset and also to see who got the testimony and who don't. So that's why that's the whole purpose of this Crown 19 situation. And it's running full speed and it's going to lead to uh, insurrections. It's going to lead to Jacob's trouble because the run this event. Because Israel got scattered throughout the whole world, all four corners, which go in the four directions, north, south, east, and west. So he has to do it on a world event. The people ain't trying to go for this, man. They're trying to oppress the whole world, and everybody ain't feeling that. Even their own kind, the, the, the lower level, the broke Edomites, or the Edomites who ain't the elites, they're feeling this pressure. So they're not going to go for it. And they're going to use their military, which is the sword, which goes back to that sword that Esau was blessed with to, you know, take the life of the hopeful elect, you know, the remnant of the seed that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. That's what they're seeking to do. And they, they let you know that devil full of pride because he ain't going to get that. Really, that's what's going to break his kingdom. Like Esau so dumb, him in this desperate attempt, because this is nothing but desperation moves. This devil is desperate. In his desperation, he's fumbling and he's going to destroy his own kingdom trying to get rid of the people the most high blessed and that, that's that's yapa right there to me that's that's perfect judgment so let's get to the next scripture because king david warned us about this as well as i said these people may not understand the bible they ain't got the spirit on them because i can 
Man, I can run through this whole word and give you all kinds of good stuff out of it, man. It's, it's letting you know what's going down right now. So check it out. This is Psalms 37 and 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Now, let's break that down. Who's the wicked? We talked about who the wicked is. The wicked is Esau Edom, a.k.a. the white nation. You know, the elite. You know, they have their military right now. They are drawing out the sword. These detention centers, the, the military coming in to uh, supplant the, the medical staff because they, they fired them because they won't, you know, go with the mandate. You know, that's them drawing out the sword, man. They about to, you know, they're setting up their military. That's the same thing as them drawing out the sword. It's the same thing, you know. And it says it bent the bow to cast down the poor and needy. You know, same when you cock that gun, same as bending back that bow. So Esau is getting his military ready, cocking that gun, because, you know, they're looking to destroy who? Who's the poor and needy? That's Yashrallah, Israel. We don't have nothing. We don't have a seat at the UN seat. We don't have sovereignty. You know, uh, most of our people don't even know they're Hebrew Israelite. You know, they don't even know their own nationality. So we, we don't have nothing. We are the poor and needy. And he says to slay such as be of upright conversation. What's upright conversation? Upright conversation is talking about Yahweh Bashiach Shah, talking about these scriptures, keeping these laws such commandments to the best of your ability, having the faith of Yahweh Bashiach Shah, and talking about Yahweh Bashiach Shah, because, you know, me and my Akim, you know, and uh, a few people I talk to, that's what we talk about. Is your high bashing out with Shah? That's upright conversation. Because we're talking about the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. That's who they want to get rid of. Because we, our prayers are the ones being answered. Our prayers are the ones, you know, we're the ones being seen. We're the ones blessed. We're the ones that Yahweh Bashi Al Shah loves. You know? So they're trying to get rid of us because they figure if they kill all of us, you know, who who Yahweh ain't gonna reason to come back. Because they know Yahweh Shah, the whole reason Yahweh Shah is coming back is to raise up, you know, the ones that be of upright conversation. The ones that have the testimony of him and the ones that keep the commandments to the best of their abilities. That's who he's coming back for. So they like, okay, to offset prophecy, if I destroy these people, who he going to save? Because they know he the savior. Who is he going to save? So that's the whole point of what, what we're going through right now. This crown 19 is going to lead into... Jacob's trouble, which is going to be trouble for everybody because it's going to be killing, bang, bang. Like, the best way I can put this, go watch a movie called Forever Purge. The latest purge movie that came out, Forever Purge. We're going into a time like that because you got to best believe, don't think Esau was here to save you. Once Esau bang against his own government, Esau going to ultimately attack Yashar Allah. And you can know that by looking at the Trump administration. Like, their racism bubbled up. Because they're going, the poor Edomites are going to blame Jake for them losing their kingdom. Because I had a uh, Edomite tell me in one of my old jobs that he wished for our people to go back into slavery. Therefore, he said that would heal, you know, their, their kingdom, their government. You know, basically said that would fix their country. They thrive when we were in slavery. So Esau's, you know, his fantasy is that we go back into slavery. He wants to do what his great, great grandpa did, you know. That, that's that's what they're going to try to do during the insurrections is, is go back to, you know, the old Confederate ways. So that that's that's their their main thing. So don't think Esau Esau is not the same. Esau ain't going to save nothing. You know, Esau is for destruction. So you're going to have elite Edomites versus Jake. You have poor Edomites versus Jake, you know, and then you're going to have two thirds versus Jake. All we really got is the hope we let each other. That's it. You know. That's all we really got. Because the two-thirds, they're going to protect Esau's interests too. And they're going to be getting killed by Esau. I'll show you how dumb they are. The two-thirds are, are dumb. They're very, very dumb. You know, and I don't, I don't feel bad for saying that either. Because it, it's proven now that you're dumb. You know, the Most High said you're sad as children. And sot going to being drunken and dumb. You know, look that up. So, back to the scriptures. You know, like I said earlier, man, this, this is going to lead to insurrections and all of this, these detention centers and uh, trying to, you know, really push these mandates. Man, people ain't gonna, and then like you got blockade and siege going on right now. You got them. They doing it on purpose, man. They're not bringing in the food and supplies in like they should. They doing that's on purpose, man. That's to create, you know, the, the, the insurrection because they're mad because they want 100 percent, you know, 
uh, 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 that thing. They want everybody to have that, plus the boosters. And they're not getting that. They only, I think, last time I looked, they were 62%. They're angry. So because everybody won't comply with their orders, they're going to stop bringing in the food. And they're going to say, oh, it's because of the people that don't have it is the reason why we can't get food in here, why we have a supply chain shortage. It's because of them. And that's going to further create, you know, divisions and insurrections because the people that done did it going to get mad at the people who ain't did it and they're going to just bang and shoot it out. So this, this is all going to just go haywire. So I'm, I'm going to start out at uh, second address 15 and 15. For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people should stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. You know, didn't I just say that? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So when this thing fall out, you are entertaining people's children, uh, uh, grandparents, uh, wives, husbands, you know, you taking them away, you know, Hey, they ain't going to care what the mayor got to say. They ain't going to care what the governor got to say, the senator got to say. They ain't going to care what the CDC got to say. You know, they got a, 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 a militia, you know, arm, you know, a armory. They got they got swords, weapons, you know, they got guns. And when you take their loved ones, they're going to be like, man, look, here, we got these guns. I got about 10 homies with me. We're going to ride out to the detention center. We're going to shoot it up. And the two thirds going to do that. They shoot up houses. So the detention center is going to get shot up, you know. Troops is going, you know, little National Guard, these little children that signed up to be in the National Guard to get the military benefit, they're going to get shot up, man. They ain't ready for war. They signed up so they can go to college and, and get military money. They are not ready for war. I'm talking to these young children in, the, in, in uh, the National Guard. I can tell, like, dude, you're going to go AWOL. You ain't about to bust nobody, you know. And see, these people, they're going to fight hard because you done took their loved ones. Uh, They probably done lost their job. Uh. Probably, you know, hungry, can't afford no food, store shelves gonna be closed. And they ain't gonna have when you when somebody ain't got nothing to lose, they're gonna fight extremely hard. Extremely hard. I ain't got nothing to lose to lose. So with the most house, we gotta get ready, y'all. Sure, it's gonna be extreme bloodshed coming up pretty soon when all this thing comes to a head. When it when your how about shot shot turns up, intensifies the heat, man, it's gonna be a lot of killing. A lot of blood. She just heard it. One people gonna stand up and fight against another people with swords in their hands. You're gonna have factions. You're gonna have militia groups. You're gonna have gangs, you know? And they're gonna be fighting against the the, uh, the government. That's what we got going on right now. And it said right there, then I regard their kings nor princes. Who's the modern day king or prince? Your governors, your senators, your mayors. You know, that's they supposed to speak on behalf of the people, but they're rolling with the system. And the people are done rolling with the system. They talking about we the people. We the government. And you can hear, especially them, uh, what they call themselves, patriots. Oh, man, they they ready to bang, man. So they can do the detention center they want to, and it's going to all fall out, which that should be good for us, hopefully, Lek, because, hey, this, this wicked king that's been erected is now destroying itself. It's imploding. And that's all good, because that's all through the power of your high by Shia You know, we don't want this place to stand forever. We tired of Babylon. We want Babylon to be destroyed. So this is good news for us. You know, but we're going to be caught up in this nonetheless. So we got to walk circumspectly. We got to be, you know, prayed up because we're going to be caught out here, too. We're going to be, you know, we're going to be tried in the fire. So this ain't going to be nothing to hush. It. That's why this is serious business. And Jake, the two thirds are not taking this seriously. They don't even see it coming. They think everything will go back to normal. They up and rolling. They sleeve up for their fourth go around, you know, shows how dumb they are. So check it out. Here go. Uh. I'm going to read some more of this, man, because this, this is good scripture. This is address. This is end time prophecy. It's going down. Check it out. Oh, once that happens, you're going to have blockades set up. You know, once insurrection going, everybody shooting everything, military going to set up checkpoints. You can't go city to city. And they doing that right now with the uh, with the uh, Crown 19. If you haven't, you know, if you're not considered that, you know, you ain't uh, had the job of juice, you can't go into another city. They're already setting up checkpoints now. So just let's read that. It's like an address 15 and 17. A man should desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. You peep that? Men shall be afraid, man. These, these dudes you thought were men, little, little, little gangster Pookie Loke, OG467, you know. Hey, he going to be scared at this time. 
Because he ain't going to know what's going on. He's not being horsed on what's to come. He wasn't ready for this. He thought if he participate, roll his sleeve up, then he'd be good. Couldn't find out that is not the case, man. He's going to be scared because he has no comfort. He doesn't know a kingdom is coming. He doesn't know what to look forward to. He ain't going to know where to go. He ain't going to know what's happening. You know, he's going to run right to the, the, the troops, the soldiers, and they're going to lay him out because he's going to think they there to help him. No, they there to take your life away, man. This devil's about to declare war on y'all, Sharala. So check it out. I'm going to go to 19. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You hear that? Lack of bread. We already dealing with a uh, supply chain shortage. That's blockade and siege. Those are war tactics. The government has declared war on the people. And the people, which the only ones who can see this right now, are the uh the middle class Edomites, your patriots, your yo, oh, the constitution, them Edomites, they can see what's going on. Because this is their kingdom. Two-thirds Jake still like, I'm worried about how many in World Wrestling gonna get traded tonight. They worried about little stupid stuff, man. They worried about getting rap careers and stuff like that. Two-thirds Jake ain't even aware uh, of the wars that's going on overseas. You know, I'm just talking to my family. Jake ain't aware of nothing, man. Jake watching parental uh, things, you know, court court cases on TV. Uh, they got Jerry Springer being a judge and Steve Harvey, little judge shows and stuff. Jake is not paying attention, man. So Jake is going to get ran through real easy. The two-thirds going to get ran through real easy. They're going to be easy work. That's, and, and you can see it because the scripture said it. The most I said, judgment should start at the house, uh, should start at my house. You know, loosely paraphrasing. Start at the house of Israel. You know, you can see it because they're not prepared, man. They're at ease. It says, woe to the woman that is at ease. And they are at ease, man. They they thinking everything is light. Everything is a joke. Uh, They have no sense of urgency right now. And I ain't saying the, the bug out panic, but you need to be asking questions. You need to be like researching. You need to see what's going on. You need to start preparing yourself. And they not. So, it, it, Jay going to be easy work. Little two-third going to be easy work. Little Pookie Ray Ray going to get ran through so easy. You know? And they going to be reacting. See, we we with this word. That's what we got to call Halal Yahabashi Yahweh Yashrata, that we got this word. Because it's preparing us for what's to come. So, when it comes, we're ready. We're not going to be in a bug out state. We're not going to be, oh, oh, shoot, oh, oh, where I go? No, and just run around like a chicken with our head cut off. No, man, we know what's coming. We prepared for it. You know, we're going to see it pop up, you know, before it even happen. This this word makes you prudent, man. We foresee the evil coming, and we can hide ourselves, which I might pull that scripture. I'm just loosely paraphrasing it right now because I want to stay on point with what's going on right now because I can see the Civil War is cooking. Civil War is brewing. And it's going to be the people versus the government. You know, they're going to have the uh, National Guard is going to try to hold it down at first, but they're going to get ran through. And then the the, uh, the government going to have to call in their troops overseas, the, the Marines, the Army, the Navy, all that back here to fight their own people. Because America has the most guns. America has more guns than any other country, you know, as far as like a civilian people go. America has a lot of guns. Probably think they said, what, 200-something million guns is here? Probably more than that because, like, most people got, like, five or six guns for every citizen. And we got, what, 300-something million citizens? So you probably got about, let's just say they all got two guns. That's, like, what, 600 million guns here in America or probably more. I really, I want to say probably a billion guns here in America. So it's about to go down, man. That story going to come out, and it's going to be crazy. And they're going to do it because they, they have lack of food. And because they're going to be looking for their loved ones, it's going to be tribulation going on. People are going to be killing and stealing because I don't have. Or I don't have nothing to lose. You know, my family got took away in the tent center. I'm looking for them, you know. And I'm just angry about that. So anybody say something, get on my nerves, or got something I want, you know, it's going to be like the Wild Wild West. No more rules after that. It's going to be whoever got the fastest quick draw wins. <laughs> That's the times we're going into. That's why, hey, especially these women. I don't need no man. Shit, man. This stuff about to get so bad. I said these women about to get shook. Shook. Because men about to get shook. It said men going to be afraid. So if a man going to be afraid, imagine a woman. Imagine a woman. She going to be terrified, man. It's going to be groups of dudes running around. 
you know, then the woman done did all this augmentation, making, you know, uh, 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 titties and her breasts bigger. You know, a man see and you look good. Hey, man, you're going to be the spoils of war. You know, they're going to all run a train on your butt when they feel like it. You're going to be all tied up in somebody's basement, you know? You know, I'm just saying, man, then these dudes is... And then the men ain't exempt from that either. You got these dudes as momos out here. They they like me, little boys and stuff. Men, let's say children gonna get snatched up. It's gonna be all hell breaking loose, man. That's why the devil got a hair up and roll out his karagma. Cause it look like he about to lose his 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 kingdom already. Then the karagma get out. If you don't get that karagma, they are going to put you to death when it comes to that. So I wanted to get that scripture out right there to show, hey. We're, we're, we're going into some heavy times, man. We got to be built up. To, and we got to put them prayers up. We got to be prepared to see death. You're going to see, like, people going to be just dead in the streets. You know? And not just from getting shot up. You got you to gotta think, too. People on their fourth uh, go around. Like, if you get, like, a, a headache or a little sniff or a common cold, with you on your fourth go around, hey, that's you're going to be knocked off. Ain't going to be no time to get to the hospital. Ain't going to probably be no hospitals. They probably going to be all blown up and shot up. Man, it's going to be all hell about to break loose. Pretty much what I'm trying to say, y'all, Sharala. And these, you're going to see a lot of death. A lot of death from this medical experiment. A lot of death from the civil war that's about to pop off. And it's just going to be this death is going to be commonplace here in Babylon the Great and just all over the world. It's going to look like, you know, we're going to look like Iraq. You know, it's going to be drone strikes, bombings. Things of that nature. So uh, I want to get I want to get my last little precept. So lock you. I'll turn it off. Okay, okay. So lock you for that. I can. I'm getting my last little precept. Uh, let me go to. We go to First Peter three and twelve. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So you hear that, y'all? It says, "For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers." So that's why it's good to stay locked in on this truth. That's why it's good to stay in the house of David. You know, it's good to stay prayed up. It's good to eat up on this word because we're going to need it when all hell break loose, you know. And the Most High, he said right there, he's against those that do evil. So that goes to the heathen nations, uh, Esau, and the two-thirds. So really, hey, we we, we good, y'all, Sharala. We just got to stay the course. Stay in the house of David, you know. Stay prayed up. Stay walking the commandments best of your abilities. And, you know, Lord willing, we part of that precious elk, we're going to see salvation. So we, we do have something to look forward to, and that's that comfort, that's that hope. That's what's going to keep us sane when everybody else is going to lose their mind because they don't have that. They don't know about the house of David. They don't know about what's going on right now. They don't know it's a kingdom coming for them. All they know is Babylon the Great. That's it. So all we got to do is stay the course. So with that being said, hey, Lord willing, pull out some more, be on my watch, you know, to keep us 10 steps ahead of this devil and what's going on. So I hold Lord willing, this was edifying. Till the next time, Kwame Yashrala, DTF Baba Ball.